First, open your web browser. Enter hero.aulstar.com in the address bar, and press enter. You will now enter the driver interface for the Order Hero series. On the left side of the interface, you'll see the Configuration File section. With three profile options below it, Profile 0, 1, 2, you can pre-configure and save three different keyboard presets. When using the keyboard, simply click the desired profile to switch quickly, eliminating the need to reconfigure settings individually each time. Select Profile 0. From the top menu, choose the performance mode to enter the magnetic switch function settings. The interface will now display a diagram of your Hero Series keyboard at the top. First, we'll use Global Setting. In this mode, your settings will apply to all keys on the keyboard. You can quickly configure the actuation point, rapid trigger, RT, function, and dead zone uniformly for all keys based on your needs. Under the Set the Triggering Trip section, you'll see Switch and a drop-down menu to its right. The drop-down defaults to the factory configured switch model. If it displays incorrectly, click the drop-down and select the actual switch model used in your keyboard. For this setup, we'll use Black King as an example. Next, click Calibration Mode to enter the calibration screen. Once the calibration screen pops up, press and hold each key on the keyboard for more than one second, then release. Start pressing keys. You'll see the corresponding key graphic. In the interface change from red to green. Continue pressing until every key on the keyboard has been pressed. The keyboard calibration is complete. Click Stop Calibration. Then click Exit Calibration to exit the calibration mode. Move your mouse cursor over the Real-Time Itinerary option and click it. Click Start Measuring. Then press any key on the keyboard randomly. You will now see the real-time travel distance of that key, and the corresponding AD value changing. With the travel will be displayed on the right. Click Stop Measuring. Then click Exit Measuring. Below the real-time travel measurement area, you'll see a magnetic switch diagram, and a key travel setting graphic to the right. You can set the travel distance by clicking the OR DASH buttons, or by directly dragging the travel slider bar. As you adjust, note that all keys in the top keyboard diagram will simultaneously display the real-time travel distance you are setting. This completes the magnetic switch actuation point setting. Next, we'll configure the RT rapid trigger settings. You can set the actuation and reset distances according to your preference. First, toggle the RT switch ON. The RT settings interface will appear below. You can now drag the sliders to set the magnetic switch actuation. Press and reset release distances. As you drag the slider, you might notice the actuation and reset distances change simultaneously, meaning they are set to the same distance. If you need to set different distances for actuation sensitivity and release sensitivity, Click and toggle ON the Set RT Actuation Sensitivity and Release Sensitivity Independently switch. Once independent setting is enabled, you can adjust the actuation sensitivity distance and the release sensitivity distance separately. Set the actuation and reset distances according to your needs. Now, let's configure the dead zone. Toggle the dead zone setting switch on. The top dead zone and bottom dead zone settings interface will appear below. Drag the red indicator bar to adjust the top dead zone distance. After setting the top dead zone, pressing within this distance is invalid, will not actuate. The key must travel beyond this distance to actuate. Adjusting the top dead zone helps prevent accidental presses based on usage needs. Drag the blue indicator bar to adjust the bottom dead zone distance. After setting the bottom dead zone, Releasing within this distance is invalid. The key must be released beyond this distance to reset. Adjusting the bottom dead zone helps prevent missed inputs based on usage needs. Now, enter the individual key settings mode. You'll notice that several option buttons have appeared. 
to the right of the displayed keyboard layout. Click Select All. All keys will be checked. His means your magnetic switch adjustments will apply simultaneously to all selected keys. Click Deselect All. All check marks will be cleared and keys will be unselected. Click WASD mode, the W, A, S, D keys will be checked. You can adjust settings specifically for these for keys. In games, these are often movement keys. Optimizing them can effectively enhance your eSports performance. Many players focus their adjustments primarily on these keys. Click Deselect All again. You can now freely click on any specific keys in the keyboard layout to select them individually. Successfully selected keys will show a check mark above them. This means you can adjust settings for any specific keys you want to configure. This mode also includes a set globally option, which functions identically to the global setting described earlier, i.e. synchronizing settings for all keys. Within this individual settings mode, you can configure the actuation point, RT, rapid trigger, settings, and dead zone for specific keys. The configuration methods are the same as described in the previous operational modes. This concludes the key adjustment tutorial for the Hero series. Thank you.